When we use tillage, the soil ecosystem is disturbed on a massive scale. Purdue's Dr. Eileen Kladivko contrasted natural ecosystems with tilled systems and what we stand to lose when soils are tilled. If you think about natural ecosystems, they don't have a tillage implement running through them once a year or a couple of times a year, but nutrients get recycled and trees grow or grasses grow and, and what's recycling the nutrients are, are the organisms. And so uh, part of what we're saying with a, with a no-till system is that if you, if you don't take an implement through there um, and you allow the system to kind of uh, come back that there will be organisms that will will do that job for you. Um, they do it differently obviously than a, than a piece of metal would do it. Um, but they can be very effective and, and besides loosening the soil or making burrows, um, they do some of these other things like convert nutrients, okay, recycle nutrients, um, have uh, pathways where where roots can grow and then those pathways stay there. You don't if you think about a tillage implement, any root channel from last year in the topsoil is going to be totally broken up by right. a tillage implement the next year. If you have a nightcrawler channel, um, or even if you have a redworm channel that's that's part of the redworm channel, it's it's there, yes. and then the roots can follow that, and so so you can have channel built upon channel built upon channel. And the nightcrawler channel, you know, maybe a, a root, uh, maybe a corn root, maybe a cover crop root yes. will go down that, and then yes. the next year another nightcrawler, and and so on. So it builds upon itself. Will you explain to us why organic matter decomposes faster because of tillage? A tillage operation does a couple things. Number one is it opens up aggregates that were otherwise protected. So you're opening up more surfaces for the bacteria to decompose the organic material faster. That's probably the, the main reason. Sometimes people say, well, you're putting oxygen in the soil. It's not really so much that as, as by breaking up aggregates, you expose the organic matter in the soil to decomposition, whereas when it's in an aggregated state in the soil, some of that's protected, and the bacteria that decompose that organic matter can't get to it. So the tillage actually favors then, say, bacteria that would live in that environment. Yes. And that's maybe what causes the flush of carbon dioxide and nitrates into the soil as well, I guess. Oh, yes, yes. The flush of carbon dioxide is, is very much related to the, the tillage. The tillage operation. Right. Okay.